Uh, I apologize that the stream started late. There was a question, and I thought this question would be greatly enhanced if I had my overhead camera. Where's my overhead camera? Uh, where's my overhead camera? There it is. Uh, this question would be greatly enhanced if I had my overhead camera. So I got my overhead camera set up. It's not pointed overhead right now. And I um, went to get a... I went to get a, uh, a radio because the question relates to four in one modules. And I thought I'm going to get a four in one module and I'm going to, I'm going to have the camera looking down. I'm going to show everybody the menu. And I got the camera all set up, had to go find the HDMI adapter and plug everything in. And the, that's why the stream was late. And then I went behind me to the drawer where I have all the radios that I own. And I realized I no longer own any radios with a four in one module. All of my radios are Express LRS. <laughs> like, I get radios for review or whatever. And of course, I always say, yes, send me the Express LRS one because that's what's in all my quads. And um, I was sure I had like one. And I, and I don't want to keep all the radios forever. So I like to give them away or sell them to my patrons at. At a, usually at what I consider to be a pretty ridiculous discount. But, I've, you know, it's like, okay. Um, and um, I don't have any. I no longer own a 4-in-1 module. So this question will have to be answered theoretically. Uh, because I can't show you the menu. I, I should buy, like, I should, I swear I, like, had a 4-in-1 like a little four in one light module. I'm gonna need to buy one just for testing purposes, right? Sheesh. That's it, Captain Bry, you finally did it. Do you remember, Captain Bry? You probably do remember. A long, long time ago, I could still remember when Express LRS was just a g gleam in some nerd's eyes. When you had to solder your own receiver, you know? And then, like, occasionally somebody would sell some pre-made receivers and modules that they soldered for you. And I was like, this is ridiculous. This is all, this is a giant hassle. I don't want anything to do with this. It's not worth the trouble. And I didn't really, I didn't really make content about it. But I think a few people were, I'm not going to say their feelings were hurt, but I think some people were like, meh, what's Bardwell's problem? And slowly, Express LRS won me over. Uh, uh, to be fair, you guys made it a lot easier to get into. Not, a, not, not, it could still be easier. But it got better and better. And I got, and now, like, this is the culmination. <laughs> I no longer own an ex a 4-in-1 module. So, there you go. Um... I still own a ghost module, although I kind of don't know why. Is ghost is ghost dead in the water? Here's the thing. I hear a lot of racers still run ghost. Let's start a poll. Is Immersion RC Ghost dead? I think my 3D printer is making a sound. Yes, no. That's it. Simple poll. Yes or no. Okay, uh, Eric Toft, who uh, runs the website, F searchfpv.com, searchfpv.com, uh, which is a uh, web search engine. It searches stores, not just the web, for products. Uh, he says that the last time someone searched for Immersion RC Ghost on this one site, to be fair, was November 30th. And before that, September 8th. So I wouldn't presume that our search results represent everything in the world, but at least our search results, Ghost is not very... Uh, I think that, that Champ's survey is going to be uh, big. It's going to be big. So, uh, surprise, surprise, the poll says Ghost is dead, 87%. Uh, yes, 12%. No. If anybody's using it, it's just racers. It just did not achieve widespread appeal that I think, and I think Express LRS took a lot of the wind out of its uh, sales. Um, Express LRS came at a time 
when Ghost was just starting to build up steam. A lot of people who would have switched to Ghost went to Express LRS instead. In many ways, Express LRS does everything Ghost does and more. So Ghost uh, uses LoRa like Express LRS, goes up to high packet rates. I think it goes up to 500 hertz now. Uh, I can't remember. I think it. I think it goes. It definitely goes to 250 hertz, but it only has 250 milliwatts output power. Why does it go to one watt? I don't know. They didn't make it do that. And so there are things that Express LRS does just in terms of like output power that Ghost doesn't do. So, yeah. How would you run Ghost if you're racing a whoop? Well, they do have a tiny, tiny Ghost receiver, the Ghost Atto receiver, which could be used on a whoop. Um, Ghost is good. Uh, it offers enough range and penetration for most people, even at 250 milliwatts. It offers good latency, and it is way easier to manage than uh, Express LRS in terms of firmware updates. Just very, very simple firmware updates. Um, but uh, just didn't take off. So. So the question is, does the Radio Master Pocket CC2500 bind with the FreeSky XM Plus? And the answer is yes. Yes, it does. Uh, let's go take a look at the supported protocols list on the website since we can't look at an actual radio, uh, as I hoped. And FreeSky, so uh, the Radio Master or the uh, FreeSky XM Plus. What the fuck? I'm sorry. Oh, she's sleeping. She's not going to go find out what the noise is. Jesus. <sighs> okay, let's try to ignore it. I'm not going to be able to. It's going to drive me crazy. Focus, Bardwell. So the XM Plus is going to have uh, the FreeSky, either FreeSky X or FreeSky X2. Um, the difference between FreeSky X and FreeSky X2 is that FreeSky X is the V1 ACCST and FreeSky X2 is the V2 ACCST. Yeah, see? D16, oh, you can't see that. D16210, okay? So when, when they switched over, and I think currently the XM Plus is shipping with this protocol. So I believe to bind to an XM Plus, you would choose FreeSky X2 as your protocol. Um, And I thought they used to have FreeSky underscore X, which just automatically picked one or the other. But it seems like not. So, yep, that's what you want. Either FreeSky X or FreeSky underscore X2. I saw some folks saying that it doesn't bind to certain protocols, and I think that's not true. All of, It doesn't bind to access, but the XM Plus doesn't do access. So that can't be what we're talking about. 